Hello, hello, welcome back to Dance Chamber Ballet Shorts. I've got Mariana, my Hi. helper today. So last time we did tendus. Today we're going to be doing grand battement. And I hope you've been practicing because your tendus will become very, very useful for your grand battement exercises. We talked about posture last time. I'm a stickler for posture. So we're going to talk about it again. Make sure you have a nice long line from the crown of your head to the heel, your sternum, that's the chest bone here right in the middle of your chest is forward, flat chest, shoulders are down, your navel in towards your spine, engage your abdominal muscles, your tailbone is pointing down towards the heels, that we're not doing any arching, you're going to have your tailbone pointing down, and we're going to lengthen from the waist, so you want to go tall, 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 taller, 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 long neck, and your chin is, I would say that centimeter above the line that would be that the floor. So just a little higher. There you go. Longer. So combat mom. Same principles as tendus. You're going to be passing through tendus actually, right? So what we have, you're going to turn up from the inner thighs. You're going to turn up the inner thighs. Your supporting leg is nice and straight like we said last time. There's a good supporting leg is going to help you do the exercise in a stable manner. You're going to lead with the heel of your foot, brushing through the floor, as if you're doing a tendu, right? So you don't want to sickle your foot. You want to, once you finish pointing your foot, your toe dips towards the floor. And there's a light flight into the air. So in French, grand battement, it just means throwing the action. So you're throwing. But nonetheless, even though you're throwing, it's a controlled action, right? So you want to make sure, you a nice turnout, engage your inner thighs, lay with the heel, and you throw. Now depending on what grade you are, I would say up until grade three, four, you want to go 45 degrees. Higher grades, five, six, you want to go to 90, okay? There's no need to go high unless you're doing the exercise properly. So don't compromise height for good technique. So if you're unable to reach this height of 90 degrees and maintaining good form, don't do it. Stick to 45, okay? So you go back to fifth position or third for lower grades. Grand battement, leading with the heel, turn out the thigh, stabilize square hips, and light flight into the air here. Toes pointing down towards the floor. So point that toe down. Keep that hip, heel up towards the sky, and relax the, foot, the balls of your feet. Relax the balls of your feet, come back. So this is your grand battement en avant. Grand battement, décoté à la seconde, depending on which uh, syllabus you're, you're following, you're going to be brushing again through the floor, and slowly, you want to make sure your, your, the, the lines of your toes are straight from here. This is when the problems can start to happen. You, you don't want to lift the hip bone up. So the hip bones need to stay in line, they're facing forward like the, the lights of a car, remember we talked about last time and leading up with a good turnout, turnout, heel up, heel up, toes are down, and come back down and close and fit. Uh -huh. And then the same thing is going to be happening. Um, yeah. So you want to brush. A lot of people have trouble doing the combattement en arrière because you lose, you lose sight of what's happening behind your body. So what you want to do, the, the toes, it starts like a tendu, the toes, you make sure they're in line with the heel, the back toe of the working leg is in line with the heel of the stable foot, supporting leg, and you come up. So you want to engage your glutes, hamstrings, and your inner thighs. Maintain your turnout, keep your hips forward. Now, something's happening here, just like a tendu en arrière, your pelvis is going to tilt slightly forward. But to avoid collapsing your body forward, you need to engage your lower abdominal muscles and your upper back muscles. So this here needs to go squeeze, 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 engage, 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 so that you're not dipping your body forward. One more time, twist and fit, and keep stable, fully stretch leg, and brush, 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 lift plainly the air, turn out, turn up that leg more, one with your full, and close. Good job, Mariana. So why do we do tendus? This gives you a little bit of a tip. Last week when I explained to you about tendus, 
it, it will introduce youth into the movement of combat mode. And tondos are really needed for all the allegros. All those brushing action helps you gain flight into the air. So the better you are at tondos and combat mode, the better of um, an, an allegro dancer you shall be. So let's try this to music. Are you guys ready? Let's get started.